Welcome to the vlog. My name is Amit Bhatia. I'm a freshman here at BU studying business and history. And today we're going to go through my day and talk a little bit about academics here at BU. Some tips on organization, time management, procrastination, and everything in between. First thing though, I've got my first class of the day. It's at 9 a.m. So I'm a little bit late for that. So I'll see you guys after. All right, I just finished my first class, my business workshop, and I had to do some speaking in that, so I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to. I have about an hour until my next class, and I'm gonna go get a COVID test. I'll see you guys there. Okay, I took my glasses off because they're fogging up, but putting stuff in between your classes when you have breaks in between the day is really important. Getting up and doing small things is something that I've found to really help me. All right, just got back from my COVID test. Um, I've got a couple minutes before my next class, microeconomics, and we have a big test coming for that class in a couple days. So today is a review day. We're going to be doing practice problems, uh, prepping us before the exam. So on that note, a quick tip is to, especially when you're on Zoom with the big lectures, is while you can watch the recording, it's always beneficial to just go to the class. If you have any questions, you can always uh, drop that in the chat and get that answered live. Um, it kind of gets you up and moving. It can be really easy and tempting to just want to sleep through your classes, push things off and watch the recording later. It's something I struggled with a little bit last semester, but um, this semester I'm making big improvements and so far it's helped me a lot. So I'm gonna go to Econ now and I'll see you guys after. finished econ, had a good review session, and definitely going to go study for that later. So let's talk about some tips for academics in college. The first tip that I have uh, seems pretty obvious, but it's staying organized. When you're in college, you're not just doing academics. You have a lot of things going on. You're applying for positions, you have extracurriculars, you have to leave time for yourself, time for your friends, and all of that combined can be a lot to handle making sure you're on track with everything that matters to you is really important. Different people use different methods to stay organized, and the method that I use primarily is Notion. So Notion is a website that allows you to do a bunch of different things. It allows you to uh, create interactive trackers, tables, schedules. So this is what I use for my agendas. I like to build the small things in because it creates structure for the day and allows me to make sure I'm remembering all the big things too. So in addition to this schedule, I create to-do lists and assignments. Both these combines allows me to make sure that I'm never missing anything. The second thing that I use Notion for is note taking. And this brings me to my second tip. Make sure you're always trying to keep up with whatever study habits work for you. And it's gonna benefit you in the long run. I like Notion specifically because I can create a class and make pages under the class and I can go back and it's neatly organized and I like that. But that may not work for everyone. So it's all about finding what you like and staying consistent with that so it becomes a routine and a habit and you get really good at it. So my next tip is also pretty common, but it's something that I definitely struggled with last semester. So everyone has a different definition of what they want their study space to be like. For me, I like to keep it nice and clean and organized and that allows me to feel the most productive but I was also really stuck in my dorm last semester. I live in Kilichen Hall, and on the top floor, we have a really nice study lounge, and I feel like I didn't take advantage of it as much last semester. I was in my dorm a lot, and meshing those two spaces of study and play and sleep um, wasn't the best for me. So this semester, I've been taking a lot of time to study in a lot of different places. I like to study in my dorm as well. It's just mixing up those spaces and doing what works best for me and what works best for you. I know I've had a lot of talk about staying productive, don't procrastinate, keep on top of your time. In times like these, and in general, it's really, really important to stay balanced. And allowing yourself uh, to have time for your friends, for yourself, for things that you enjoy is really, really important. I know balance is a cliched word, 
but it really does hold true. Sometimes procrastination is inevitable and that's okay. Um, don't beat yourself up about it. Maybe you're not gonna be on top of your time management every single day of the week and that's also okay. So allowing yourself to be human, allowing yourself to take time, allowing yourself to enjoy college are all things that matter. And in my opinion, help with staying on top of your academics because in my opinion, keeping a balance is being productive. For me, I like to read, work out, hang out with my friends. I play drums in the BU Jazz Band and I like to incorporate all those things as much as I can into my schedule. So on that note, I have a jazz band rehearsal later today and it's all the way in West Campus. So I'm gonna go bike over there and I'll take you guys along for the ride. I just got back from Jazz Man. I'm gonna go get some dinner from the dining hall and that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I'm just gonna be studying for the rest of the night. But um, aside from that, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.